Why did I bring you to a small court? Because it requires speed. Once you've mastered this speed, playing on a bigger court will be much easier. You see, we prefer larger courts for matches. The farther the distance, the easier for defense. If your ball is slow, I'll always have time to get it. I can always return it. See, in this kind of court, space is limited. You can't counter loop. So the higher the skill level, the more they prefer bigger courts. This group is a bit better. This group is better. Let's do another set. Yes, practice your front and back steps. Very good. My bad. Yes, just land the ball on the table. Lower your wrist. Yes. Yes. Off the table ball. Hold it. Off the table ball. Yes. Can't hold on. Sometimes it's not about physical exhaustion. Another ten sets. One, two, If I use my forehand aggressively, you won't have time to react. See, right? Like this. It's the suddenness. Right? It's the suddenness. This is practicing front and back footwork. For more sets. Yes, practice speed. Smaller movements, small and quick. Why did I bring you to a small court? Because it requires speed. Once you've mastered this speed, playing on a bigger court will be much easier. You see, we prefer larger courts for matches. The farther the distance, the greater the resistance. If your ball is slow, I'll always have time to get it. I can always return it. See, in this kind of court, space is limited. You can't counter loop. So the higher the skill level, the more they prefer bigger courts. See, you run fast, more space, ball if allies farther, greater resistance, ball slows down. Every rally we have the chance to counter loop. You can't do that here. So here you practice speed. Very good.
Oh, yeah. Nice. Yes, this kind of slow rhythm. Yes, no rush. The ball will eventually land on the table. Don't hit it following the rhythm in the air. Serve a slow ball. Serve fast or slow, any way you like. Just serve directly. See? The ball will eventually land on the table. There's no ball that won't land. Any ball will land right slower. It's not that when the opponent slows down, you speed up. Slower. Any ball will land before it moves forward. Yes, this rhythm is good. Yes, it will eventually land on the table. It can't not land. Once it lands, you start. Yes. Very good. Exactly. Once you understand this rhythm, when you exert force or play at your own pace, you will appear calm. Sometimes during rallies, there's a sudden slow ball. If you rush to exert force, you'll make a mistake. This often happens during matches. When you're actually playing against someone without rhythm changes, you'll feel very comfortable. That's for sure. After the opponent serves, his rhythm is very steady. Right? No sudden speed changes. Sometimes they deliberately return a slow ball in a rally. Balls with rhythm changes are harder to handle. Very good. Yes. See, you couldn't resist. Started to hit forcefully. Keep going with this ball. Since the ball didn't land, sometimes the opponent might get to it. Then you hit it forcefully. Same result. Yes, same result. Yes. Very good.
keep it up. Yes, this is fine too. I'm going to get on the table first. Getting faked out. You all went there. The ball went there. First, get the ball on the table, not hitting it forcefully and recklessly. Very good. No problem. Yes. Now you know, not hitting forcefully and recklessly. Yes, looping like this is also fine. If you can achieve over 95% hit rate with this loop, why smash? Right? Your hit rate with forceful attacks definitely drops to 80%. This quality is 95%. With force, definitely. At least you're below 90. Why bother? This is a high ball from over there. Isn't it quite uncomfortable? Yes, it feels quite high. Reaches here. Can't backswing. Then better not loop. Quick touch instead. If there's absolutely a good chance, I will pivot attacked, right? Add some quality for those rallies. This backhand quick loop. Forehand fast counterattack, about 10 sets. Practice transitions. Hold your forearm. Don't have too much backswing. Backswing means no chance for a quick counter. Yes. Still half a step off. Forehand side still half a step off. Easily going over like this. If you slack in training, you'll suffer in matches. Train an extra half step in matches. You won't need that half step. Yes, very good. Your training plan is my training plan, exactly the same. Yes, our training focuses on intensity. It's not about whether you're tired or not, it's different from being tired. It's the intensity you feel. Anyway, being tired feels satisfying, right? Right? Feels satisfying being tired. It's not that kind of tired. It's not like serving one shot each side. You have to train that. But this is also important. It's obviously much better now. Much better than the previous sets, especially the forehand side. Lu Haiyang, they all miss you. The friends in the live stream all miss you. They're having culture classes over there. 
<laughs> Training here, culture classes there. The students have it tough. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <clears throat> Last five sets. My bad. Last two sets. This is good. Right? Just slow down. Suddenly slower. In the future, wait for the ball to land before looping. Very good. Last set. Backhand loop once. Balance. Move, move. Sometimes you have to train your willpower. Legs, yes. The legs need to come up just a bit more. Go down. Last 10 sets, 12,345, good ball. Look, here it comes. Do another one. Right? You see, this kind of ball has a higher hit rate. It's better than smashing and making a mistake. Yes, sometimes it's just a habit. You don't want to keep rallying. Five sets, one, two, three, four. <clears throat> Come, pivot attack. You see? Wow. Don't let the power go. Right? Very good. This way, you'll be more conscious in the match. Alright.